All right, my friends, today we are checking out golf grips now. If you know from past videos, I have checked out so many grips. Duratrack, Golf Pride, Lampkin, Super Stroke, you name it. It's here, Win Grips, I've done them all. And these can get quite spendy. Anywhere from nine to like $15 per grip. Well, here in my hot little hands are the number one selling grips on Amazon. For a set of 13, $29.99 at the time of shooting this video. So no wonder they're the most sold grips, the number one on Amazon, they are the cheapest. Let's see what we have here. I ordered them with grip tape. So it comes with strips of tape. You can also order them with the solvent that uh, you would use to attach it. I already have that, so I don't need that. And let's see what we have. I got the Champ Key. Champ Key. Never even heard of these guys. All right. I got the black, red on black Champ Key grip. And I got the midsize because it most, in my thought, would most resemble my current grip, which is the Golf Pride Standard Plus Four. So this is my current grip. Okay. And this feels very similar in size. I like that. So this is the midsize. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put one of these on a club and compare it to all of those because is this, I mean, the price is right. 30 bucks for 13 grips versus uh, $30 for three grips or less with any of these options. So we're going to put this on and see how she stacks up compared to the big boys. Because, uh, hey, we should change our grips two times a year, at least once a year, two times, maybe three times a year, depending on how much you play. That could get expensive. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove a grip, and I wanna make sure I also remove all the old tape so that it doesn't uh, have an extra buildup of tape in one area, which would affect how you feel on the golf club. So take that off. Then I'm going to put on the tape that comes with the Champ Key grips if you buy them with the tape. And what's great is it has a little flap where you can just peel off the second side. And so do that super easy. Then just use your solvent. I put it in the grip and shake it around and then I drain it out onto the tape so the tape gets the solvent on it. Then I slide on the new grip and just make sure it's aligned as straight as possible with the logo either running down towards the groove line or if you want it on the reverse side, you can do it however you like. Then just set it off to the side and let it dry for a couple hours should be good. All right, that got the job done. I also have a video on how to change your grips at home. If you wanna watch that, I'll link it right up here. Some call it how not to do it, but either way, it gets the job done. Also, hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that come out. Champ Key, uh, it's gonna take a minute to get used to saying that. Never heard of Champ Key whatever. So far, the downside was when I dry, washed the grip with uh, my rag, it, the red came off a little bit. So hopefully that won't be the case moving forward. But so far, so good. Feels good. Nice tackiness. It's up against some stiff competition. So we'll see. But, I mean, the price is got to count for something already, right? Wow. All right, Champ Key is ready to rock and roll. I love the look of it. it kind of looks like that uh, Spider-Man X look or Triple X. Triple X, is that what it is? Here we go. Let's feel it out. All I care about is how this feels compared to the name brand.
so champ key how does champ key hold up against uh the plethora of big boys here well okay so far so good i don't know how long these will hold up that's just something i'm not able to test out in one video it would take me months to do that and i will follow up because these are really really good grips and i want to know exactly how long will they perform out there on the golf course in real play it would not surprise me if one of these manufacturers is making this and just calling it something else throwing it on amazon to capture a different segment of buyer i wouldn't be shocked let's just put it that way okay stranger things have happened out there in the world so i am super impressed they are in just hitting balls they are my second favorite grip of all of them so i'll i'll tell you that and th the reason i say my second favorite is because well i use this one all the time I, i'm just so used to it it's just like uh an old friend so but <laughs> i'm the ink didn't wear off. Well, it did a little bit on my glove. A little bit of the red ink wore off on my glove. No big deal. 30 bucks for 13 grips. Not a bad deal. It's a great deal. So I'll leave a link below for where you can get these on Amazon. I mean, it's worth a $30 tryout, right? You, how can you go wrong? Testing them out. See, see if you like it. I get nothing for it, but I hope you like the video. Hope it's helpful. That's what I'm trying to do here is put stuff to the test so that you can uh, make a informed decision, know what's out there and not have to waste your time, effort, energy, and money if it's not worth it. I think, I, I think I'm gonna put this on a set of clubs and play with it and see how long they last. And I'll follow up with you. Thanks for watching, love you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for participating in the video. You may go back to your, uh, your space now.